small and then and big. You are wishing for your church, you are going to farms. That's right. Today we are going to fill all these pens with soil. So we are going to heat the soil before we put the soil in it. So let me send you to where we have set the fire and, 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 and where we are going to heat the soil. So follow me and let's go back. Let's go to where we have set the fire. This is our kukuyam farm that we are using to, to, to feed the snails. Ah, so we don't have any problem with the feeding of the snails with kukuyam. So let's see. This is our big pot. What we are going to use to heat the soil. This is our big pot. And then from there, that's right. This is the fire. This is the fire. So we have already set the fire for the heating of the soil. So that is that. Huh, that is our big uh, pot there. And that is also our fire. So very soon we see us heating the soil. And then from there we send that our poly tank that we are using to supply um, water to the snows. That's right. So thank you very much. Let's continue uh, with the flying of the soil. Okay. So we have started heating our soil. So that is that. The water is too cold over here. And it's, it's good for this type of work because of the the heat that we need from the from the, the, the fire that we have set. So we are heating our soil small by small. So we have a small quantity here. Some is in. We are going to Hit them small, small, and then we'll be using it to fill all the pens over here, all the pens over here, so that it will prevent other kind of insect or animals coming to the pen yes when you prepare your pen well there's no animal or insect that will be coming to the pen you see the the animals they are okay uh, baby snails is here uh, the pen always make sure your pen is neat always make sure your pen is neat don't let your pen to be to be dirty always make sure your pen is neat it's neat and clean so you see from here this is magnata this is magnata and this is ashashatina ashashatina so always make sure your pen is neat clean Yes, you have to clean, you have to have a clean environment. A clean environment. Clean environment. So this is another pen. You have to have a clean environment for your snows. You have to have a clean environment hey, for your snows. That's right. You have to have a clean environment for your snows. We have not done yet. We will add plantain leaves to it. We are going to add plantain leaves to it. So make sure your pen is clean. This is also another pen. This is also another pen. 
So make sure the pen is always neat and clean. So you have to prevent other pests and any other animal that will be entering into the pen and that will be trying to worry uh, your snows. Your snows. And then make sure the environment is also make sure the environment is also clean you have to have a serene environment so this is where we are coming to have our training the date will be announced so please get prepared immediately the the date is announced you get ready then you come for the training so you get ready when the date is announced you come for the training so we are hitting our soil from there you carry them to the pen when you have such soil in the pen other animals will not try to venture they will not even try they will never try. Make sure the pen is neat. Keep your pen neat so that they will not come and then disturb your snows. They will not come and disturb your snows. So, always watch us, follow us. If you are new to our YouTube channel and this is your first time of watching, just subscribe or hit our notification button. After that, you comment. That will help all of us to grow in the business. To grow in the business. To grow in the business. Thank you very much for watching. The smoke is worrying, but just uh, work must progress. <laughs> yes, uh, work must progress. Oh, in farms, you see it, you foam. Abba, fear. Peace. Salam. So we are washing the snows. We have prepared this one, so we need to wash the snows before we put them in the pen. So this is the water. That is the water, man. <laughs> we need water snows. Before we put them in. So we are activating them so that <coughs> get up and eat this evening. They are very, very tall. No, it is rainy season, but they are, they are, they are very tall, man. They want to hide. They want to rehabilitate. So they want to rehabilitate. So we have to do, uh, to activate them. What I put them in so that this evening they can chop their food. Mm -hmm. The soil is set. So when your soil is old, especially in the concrete pen, when the soil is old, so three months and above, we need to open your pen, use cutlass, shovel, then 
Tend the soil. Tend the soil. Make the soil rich again. Tend the soil and make the soil rich again. Make the soil rich again. Or if you have money, you have a fit all the soil. Yeah. And then you bring in new soil if you have money. Because if you have plenty of Hey, stop, stop. You have plenty of concrete pens. You cannot build the soil. So you have to, to use your shovel or cutlass to turn the soil and make it rich. Make the soil dry. Wash your snails. Send them back. Because after some time, the snails become dominant. In the evening, they cannot wake up and eat their own food, their favorite food. And then they'll be just lying down like that. Then you see that they'll be dying. So, so that is that. So that is that. So men at work, some are feeling sun. Some are also flying the, 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 the soil. Some are also watching snails. So this evening, I hear about farms. If you are from Abbeville, please shalom. That's right. So we are watching our snails. We are very, very, very weak. If you look at it, it seems it's dying. We are very weak. So we need to, to activate them. Make them strong. That's what we are doing this evening. We are activating the snails. Washing the oh, this one cannot survive. This cannot survive. Broken chair. So it's there. One and more than is here. And no more than is here. So we are washing our snails. Reactivating them so that this evening, when you give them food, they can eat, they can work up. When they are in the soil, they cannot get up and eat their own food because they are weak. And this is also caused by lack of calcium because they have been a long time this business feed on calcium. So they are very weak, their cell is also weak. When it's not, not hard, so we have to give them more calcium to eat. So if you want to give your snake calcium, what you have to do is to put the calcium in the soil. Just put the calcium in the soil just like that. So your snakes will start to, to eat the soil and then they'll be eating the calcium. So once in a while you need to feed your snakes with calcium. Yes. Not that. So this news is also gone. Broken shell. They are not eating much calcium, much calcium. So the shell, the shell it gets wet. The floor gets burst. So when they climb and they fall, the, the shell gets burst. Because their, their shell is not all that uh, strong. Their shells are all, not all that strong. Okay, let me wash the baby's nails here.
show what we have in them. Oh, 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 and oh. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And go straight and hit the subscription button. Oh, broken snow. One, two, three. Why?
Snails, you are going to wash them and then put them back and then cover them. We want them to come back and then start to do it for us. Hmm. They are not eating. We want them to eat so that we can get the money. And then get more food. So, can they come and explain us? That we are also taking part in this exercise. We also learn how to rest loose. Don't go and then be sitting down, and then they'll be telling you that name is this name, this name, this name, and that name. And if you give you 400, 800, come this, come that, no. Come and learn. This is a practical training. Half your hand, do something. Where you're also doing something, then you are learning. You can't be a practical. Eh, this will not be book matter. No. We don't give you anything to do and read. Yes. Some might not even, when you give them the book, they, know they don't have time to read. So when you come, we teach you how to do it. And when you go, you know how to do it. That's all. So, Thank you. We continue from there.